Now, it is no surprise that you probably already know about Roblox Horror, which, um, it's literally just, you know, horror games on Roblox and stuff like that, you know? Like, some games we have, like, those beneath us and stuff, you know? Like, Faith, um, fucking Dead Silence, and, um, Short Creep Beach Stories, and Taxi on Alert and stuff like that, you know? Even a new one called Consume, you know? Uh, yeah, Roblox Horror has been kind of, you know, like, kind of a big genre on modern Roblox and stuff like that, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. And yeah, I already explained this in my, uh, I already explained this in the power, in the, in the powering imagination, um, of Roblox and stuff like that, you know, video, which, um, if you haven't checked it out, you, you can check it out right now! Anyways, yeah, I already explained this in that, I already explained this at, in that video and stuff like that, you know? Like, back then in Roblox, when developers actually cared about the things they worked on and stuff like that, you know, they actually made something to actually, you know, like, you know, like, entertain, like, the people and stuff like that, you know, whether that be horror, like, comedy and stuff like that, you know, a survival game, you know, like, like, back then, Roblox developers actually cared about their projects and stuff, you know, but nowadays, it, nowadays and stuff like that, you know, it just feels, it just feels that, like, you know, Roblox developers only just make things most of the time now, just for, just for, like, you know, money and bull bug, you know, um, and, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, there, there are, there are still some good Roblox games out there, you know, the problem is, is that they don't, they don't really do good, you know why? Because we have games, yeah, like, um, yeah, I did see one right over here somewhere, you know, so, like, It's just gonna take a little bit, if you don't mind. See, right here, yeah. We have games like Midnight Barbers. These are the games that get popular, huh? So yeah, we probably already know about Midnight Market and Midnight Cleaners and stuff, you know? A new kind of Roblox horror genre, which is which was kind of similar to experience horror games and stuff, you know? But kind of revived, you know, the PSX-style horror games and stuff like that, you know? You get what I'm saying, you know? Made by Gorilla Games, and not gonna lie, it was a it was a pretty good series and stuff, you know. Like I was kind of invested on, uh, yeah, I like had a theory and stuff like that, you know, that maybe like us, the main character, was basically the murderer in Midnight Cleaners and stuff like that, you know, stuff like that, and we killed a brother and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, I was pretty invested in in the st God fucking damn. It. All right, but anyways, don't don't mind that. But I was basically invested in the story and stuff like that, you know. But because it got popular nowadays, yeah. So here here's the problem with Roblox horror nowadays, you know. But, and just, like, any, yeah, here's the problem with, like, Roblox games nowadays, you, you know. Like, whenever a Roblox game gets popular and stuff like that, like, it, like, yeah, when, whenever a Roblox game gets popular, you know, and creates a new genre and stuff like that, you know, um, and, like, it also has, it also has, like, an interesting concept and stuff like that, you know, and I really, and I really get invested in it and stuff like that, you know. But then, this, but then that's when, you know, other Roblox developers come in. Um, especially, not to, um, you know, call anyone out, but, like, some developers, like, oh, I don't know, you know, like, developers, like, Ekra, or, like, you know, Mamed Fat Fate or something like that, you know, like, even other people, like, um, who, um, yeah, there was, like, another person, like, yeah, yeah, it was, like, yeah, it was, like, like, yeah, it's, like, yeah, so, like, yeah, most of these, like, games like this and stuff like that, you know, um, and, and their groups are usually owned by, like, you know, developers, like, developers, like, Ekra and, uh, Mamed Fateh. From what, from what I kind of research a little bit by going into the groups and stuff like that, you know, most of these knockoffs of the original and stuff like that are made by those, those specific people and stuff like that, and probably, like, a few different people, you know. And, and yeah, nowadays, when whenever you make a popular Roblox game with a new interesting concept and stuff like that, you know, usually when it's horror, then, then like, those, then those Roblox groups and stuff will usually take that, will usually take that idea, make multiple, 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 multiple of the same game and stuff, you know, just with, like, you know, a different location and stuff, you know, like, Midnight Barbers and stuff, you know, like, a barber shop, you know, like, Midnight Diner and stuff, you know, like, at a diner and stuff like that, you know. And they they literally just take the same thing, but at like a diff like they'll take the same idea at a different location, and then you know just use the same old story every single fucking time and stuff, you know. And this especially started when it, this especially started with like the experience horror games and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, like the Night Shift Experience and stuff, you know, made by um, RCM Games and stuff, you know. Uh, um, yeah, it created the experience horror game genre, and this is especially when the like groups 
yeah, this especially went in groups like um, No Show Studios. Um, who else? What what do I remember? Um, uh, Shamuri Studios. Yeah, Shamuri Studios and stuff like that. Um, and NFRL Studios. Um, like especially yeah, especially Extreme Funds. Yeah, that's a, honestly a perfect example for this. You know. Like the, the like the group is also owned by Ekra and Mamed Fate, you know, and they they just made nonstop experience horror games of just like literally any job at this point. So you know, like they had the chef experience, the school experience, you know, um, the fucking I can't remember the border experience and stuff, you know, like they just they just. They just, they just had unlimited ideas when it comes to, like, these horror games. And it was always the same fucking story. The, always the same story. And, I mean, by a good, I mean, like, by a good chance, by, like, a rare chance and stuff like that, it would be, like, a, a at least a little different story and stuff like that, you know? Like, a, a monster on the loose or something like that. Or, like, something like Shamuri Studios' um, Experience Horror Games, which, honestly, I think it's, like, the most, like, kind of at least the most decent Experience Horror Games out there and stuff like that. You know, because it, it like, it like did this thing where like it was like you know ending based games and stuff like that where at each time you where each time you played and stuff like that you could get a, like a different ending and stuff like that you know which was honestly pretty interesting and kind of like a breath of fresh air and stuff you know from the typical um you know serial killer on the loose and this is what happened with min the midnight games and stuff you know all they did was take the PSX style and stuff like that you know and I, honestly, like when we're getting get, when we're going to get into this and stuff like that, like it's not it's not even gonna it's not even gonna look like PSX, you know. It's not even gonna look like look look like it's like an old horror game and stuff like that, you know, from the nineteen nineties and stuff like that, you know. But yeah, they took they took the they took the PSX style from the Midnight Games, right? And then they basically just t just take the like the story of you know the experience horror games, of serial killer on the loose and stuff like that, you know. And then boom, they got themselves a new fucking like midnight game and stuff like that, you know. And believe me, this has happened multiple fucking times, and especially this one, Midnight Retailer. It it's just straight up it's straight up Grandpa from goddamn like you know Granny. Like I immediately real recognized him and stuff like that, you know. Like, we even got things like, you know, Midnight Zoo and stuff, you know? Like, Midnight Mail. Like, what the fuck is this? Huh? What is this? Why? Why did you... Why? Like, yeah, like... Like, things like Midnight Hospital. Like, Midnight Noodles. Midnight fucking Noodles. That is John Pork you're seeing right there. With an axe. You know? Like... Like, Midnight Pharmacy. Midnight fucking Pharmacy. It, that's Slender Man. You're looking at Slender Man right there, with a UFO in the background. I did, I did not know that, I did not know that Slender Man was a goddamn alien. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, like Midnight Hospital. Oh, it's an old version, huh? Wow, that that's pretty interesting and stuff like that. You know, um, what what else? I mean, yeah, these were the old experience horror games and stuff like that. You know, yeah, um, and yeah, like even the summer experience, which I swear to God, this is this is like an AI background. But, I mean, from what it looks like and stuff like that, you know, it looks like it's going to, like, involve some shark instead of, like, a killer and stuff like that. So, maybe that could actually be, you know, like, a good game. You know what? I'm good. I, I, sh I should try that out later. Yeah, like, if you ever, like, like just to let you know, if you're a Roblox developer watching this, you know, if you, if you, if, if you're planning to make a Roblox game and stuff like that, you know, um, that, yeah, you could go do that. You could go. You could go do that. It, it is completely fine with you and stuff like that. Do what you want. It's just that if your game ever gets popular, be the fuck careful because there's gonna be like greedy developers out there who's basically gonna steal your idea and stuff like that, and then just make it as their own, but like in a different fucking location and stuff like that. You know, and this especially happened with the badass tycoons. We all know about badass experiences and stuff like that. You know, uh, yeah, midnight slasher, midnight fucking slasher. Okay, yeah, but. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we already know about badass experiences and stuff, he basically, he basically kind of revived the tycoon genre and stuff like that, you know, basically creating a new idea, like a new concept for tycoons, which I generally really fucking love a lot and stuff like that, and that's generally only the, that's like, like, that's like the only tycoons I basically play now and stuff like that, if it's basically from, you know, yeah, if it's only from, um, you know, badass experiences and stuff like that, you know, because I'm really not a fan of, like, simulators and tycoons and stuff like that. Unless I mean, it's kind of interesting and stuff like that, you know, then I'm, I'll maybe play it, you know. Um, but yeah, and yeah, this especially happened with, you know, um, yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, if we, like, pr if we, like, search up prove 
mom wrong. Yeah, I already I showed I already showed this like in the power and imagination of Roblox video and stuff, which you should definitely check out right now. Um, but yeah, see, like I can literally search approved mom. Yeah, and th and this is yeah, this is made by Bash Experience and stuff, you know. Yeah, this yeah, this is what start yeah, this is what basically start this was basically honestly sh this was this was basically <coughs> I cannot fucking speak. This is what basically started, you know, the prove mom wrong, you know, you know. Yeah, we have things like, you know, prove mom wrong by becoming president and stuff, you know. Sell burgers. Be a baddie to prove mom wrong. At that point, she's going to make, at that point, she's going to think we're more of a disappointment, honestly. You know, sell gaming PCs and prove mom wrong. Make bo boba, you know. Um, prove dad wrong by being a fucking criminal, you know. Become an NBA star to prove mom wrong. Be prove that by making phones like robbing a gas station robbing a fucking gas station <laughs> like like by owning t a toy business like yeah sell got super the hood run and stuff you know like there's so much like so fucking much and yeah, the thing is like most of these are basically like, like you know made by either like debt collector studios like um who else yeah best tycoon studio which here's the thing it's also owned by fucking Ekra and Mohamed Fata, you know? Yeah. You you, you, you see kinda of, you see kinda of the pattern here, you know? All of these knockoffs being owned by at least, you know, at least one of the two and stuff, you know, with probably at least a different people and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, like like that, see, how does someone conveniently have their name prove mom, you know? Yeah, Deck Collector Studios once again and stuff, you know, like um yeah, best tycoon studio again, you know? Like, yeah, sell burgers. Best Games LLC, you know, which is also Fairify, which is, look at that, you know, like, Best Tycoons again, Best Tycoons fucking again, you know, like, Bend Blendify, you know, Studios, um, Best Tycoon Studio again, like, would you look at that, but, yeah, you could definitely, you could definitely see the pattern here and stuff like that, you know, most of the Roblox knockoffs nowadays, you know, based off of, like, a, like, you know, a popular genre, like, a trend and stuff, like, you know, genre, um, are, are literally owned by, like, you know, Ekra and, like, Mamed Fate or stuff like, you know, um, and they're mostly, like, they're mostly, like, making all these games just to, you know, make a quick, you know, bow buck and, and money, and then, honestly, they, at this point, they don't even give a shit about, you know, the entertainment for, you know, everyone, all the people and stuff like that, you know, which is honestly kind of sad, you know, they're becoming, like, companies, you know, they don't care about the entertainment, they just want to make money. So, yeah, that was, that was basically my little rant on, you know, um, yeah, that was basically my little rant on, on basically the current trend like, the current, like, you know, the genre of these Roblox games and stuff like that, you know. And, honestly, it just it's just kind of sad nowadays, you know. Because, like, nowadays, people just make, people, people, people basically just make everything expensive now. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, how, like, late ball and stuff like that, you know. They make very difficult events, and then, and then they'll pay, they'll, they'll make you pay, like, to, like, you know, complete the entire event for, like, probably one, like, 10,000 fucking bull buckets and stuff like that, you know. Like, yeah, and, like, every single, like, here's the thing as well. All of these fucking games and stuff like that have almost the same, like, fucking item every single, yeah, yeah, hold on. So, let me go on my phone real quick, you know. Let me, let me, let, let's take a look at, like, let's take a look at different games. Like, Midnight Barbers, you know. Yeah, so, if we go down here, yeah, let's look at the game passes. Yeah, see, we got, like, things like Pumpkin, Sprint, Mini Pistol, Cola, Jump Scare, you know, stuff like that. So, if we go somewhere like, you know, I don't know, um, probably made by the same group, you know. Yeah, like, like, hold on. Yeah, let me, let me, let me find another one made by the same group and stuff like that, you know, hold on. And see, it's mostly just the same fucking items, you know? The pumpkin, the energy drink, super speed, pistol, banana peel. It's like, it's like almost the, like, the same entire, like, Jesus Christ. Like if I'm gonna be dead honest, if you wanna if you actually wanna find a good Roblox horror game to actually play and stuff like that, you know, um, then play something like Tachyon Alert, which honestly it's probably like a best it, it's probably like yeah, that's probably like probably one of the most greatest, you know, modern Roblox horror games out there and stuff like that, you know. Like it does this thing at atmospheric atmospheric um horror which basically which basically means that it basically scares you from your surroundings you know meaning that you could basically hear something and stuff like that you know or like a like a disturbing ambience and stuff like that you know and thinking that you're not alone and makes you shiver and stuff like that you know like that's probably one of the greatest ways to honestly you know like you know make you scared in a roller horror game like this and stuff like that you know and it it is a pretty short horror game and stuff like that you know like if you if you're only getting one ending and stuff like that you know 
Um, and it especially has the PSX style graphics and stuff like that. This is, like, yeah, if you want to play a game, if you, if you want to play an actual good Roblox horror game, then I definitely recommend this one and stuff. You know, it's a pretty short horror game and stuff with PSX, like, style with, like, not that many jump scares. Like, only, like, one jump scare and stuff like that, you know? With atmospheric horror and stuff like that. It's just, like, it's just, like, probably great. It's probably one of my favorite horror games now and stuff like that, you know? Um, yeah, don't play something like the Midnight Horror Games and stuff, you know? And, yeah, this is what makes it sad, you know? This game doesn't even get that much visits, you know? Like, it only has about 200,000 visits, and only, like, 12 people are playing. And, you know, yeah, if we go back... You know, yeah, hold on. If we go to something like Freaky Bob... Look at this. 1.6 million fucking visits. 1.6! Like, what? Like, what the fuck? Like, you're, you're telling me that, you're telling me that Taxi on Alert, an actual good fucking modern horror game and stuff, that basically shows that a Roblox developer can still care about, you know, the thing that they worked on, doesn't even get that much players, but something like fucking Freaky Bob, especially someone ma made by Tucky Tom Studios, like, fuck, fuck it Tom Studios, like, makes a game about Freaky Bob, and yeah, it gets fucking one, I'm sorry, did that fucking go up? I swear to God, I said 1.5. Either way, like, that that just pisses me off, you know? Like, that just straight up pisses me off and stuff, you know? Like, there's actual good horror games out there that should honestly give the, like, deserve attention and stuff. And yet, they they don't, they don't, like, you know, get jack shit and stuff, you know? But then we have games like Freaky Bob and stuff like that, you know? Like, in all the attention they need and stuff, you know? Um, either because, like, you know, people are just, you know, like, um... You know, rage watching it or whatever you call it and stuff like that, you know? Or just actually love the games. Which, um, you probably need to get checked out if you actually like the, those games and stuff like that. So, yeah. Now, yeah, see? 400, yeah. 2 million pl visits. 2 million fucking visits, you know? 2 million people decided to sit down, like, sit down, click on the game, and actually play it, you know? Even though, little did it know, that it's literally just going to be the same fucking thing the entire damn time, you know? It, it just, like, fucking sucks, man, you know? Like, Roblox really, really recommend... Most of the games that Roblox recommends and stuff nowadays and stuff like that, you know, are either just boring at this point or just, you know, like, they're just complete cra cash grabs and stuff like that. And they don't even get attention to the actual good games and stuff like that, you know? Because that's what, that's what people don't even want and stuff like that, you know? Like, like, they don't... Like, if they don't give enough get enough, um, you know, visits and stuff like that, you know, then they're not gonna get attention from Roblox. Roblox. But what, by the like cash grabs or just completely boring games in general and stuff like that, you know, with like, like not deserve, not deserve, like, you know, visits and stuff like that, you know, then they'll give all the attention they need from fucking Roblox and stuff, you know, like it, like I just fuck, like, like Jesus, Jesus Christ, like, I just can't, you know. Okay, so what we're basically going to be doing today. What we're basically going to, be going to be doing today is we're going to go into, like, yeah, we're going to, like, check out three games. Uh, Midnight Barbers, The Summer Experience, and, and a, and like, Proof the Hood Wrong, Tycoon and stuff like that. Um, and those are, and each game comes from, like, a different genre. Like, The Midnight Barbers, like, you know, Midnight, um, The Summer Experience, Experience Horror Games, and The Proof the Hood Wrong, um, you know, Prove mom wrong, prove like the prove wrong tycoon genre and stuff like that, you know. And we're basically going to see if the not if any of the knockoffs are just good in general and stuff like that, you know. And no, I'm not going to be playing every single fucking game in here because I I like my life, you know. I I actually I actually want to play actual games that are actually be actually good and stuff like that, you know. So, yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna sit here for fucking hours and stuff like that. I've the entire day record videos, and I'm not gonna waste most of that day to play something like this. You know, fuck no. You could kiss my ass. I'm not gonna do that. And this is especially why I actually quitted playing experience horror games and stuff like that. You know, because it literally became just the same, the same, 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 same thing, same fucking thing. You know. So um yeah, first yeah so yeah first off we're gonna start with Midnight Barbers. You know. And yeah, I can already tell this is not going to be fucking good from the looks of the icon and from the thumbnail, you know. Are you... Wh what is this? What the fuck is this? The yeah, and, and here's another thing about, you know, the Midnight Games and stuff like that, you know. Like, they always they always take this... They always take the same fucking, you know, model and stuff like that of the murderer from, you know, the Midnight 
cleaners and stuff like that, you know? And then it basically just make him the like, main character most of the time and stuff, you know? Which is honestly just extremely fucking lazy and stuff. Like, if you're really gonna tr if you're really gonna try and make a PSX-style horror game, at least, at least make your own PSX, like, characters and stuff like that, and not just take the same model from another game and stuff like that. And also, you know, like, why is it so fucking wide and out and stuff like that? What pick up? Okay. And yeah, this takes place in... Oh, what you look at that? It takes place on the same fucking day. Um, like, August 8th, August 24th, 2024. Wow. Well, why isn't that fucking convenient? So, um, yeah, once again, we are going to, we're going to Midnight Barbers, the Summer Experience, and Prove the Hood Run Tycoon. And basically see if, like, if these Roblox knockoffs are either great or just completely terrible. And believe me... I think I already know what the results are going to be at the very end. And, yeah, there's a good chance that no one is even going to join, you know? I mean, at this point, why even, like, join the server if you're not even going to do jack shit? That's my question. So, yeah, barber shop. L l let's just see what this is like, honestly. I hate working at the night. I see it just doesn't look... Like, look at this. I don't get why my boss made the barber shop 24-7. Why do we seriously look like that? He just cares about his money. I I, I can really I can really see someone t posing. Well, I guess this is my fate. I can really see someone t posing and. Okay. And, and of course, and yeah, of course. There's always like there's always like you know like just straight up um, you know like game passes around the damn map and stuff like that you know. Wake up your coworker. Oh, oh, and what you look at? That that's like the same model, isn't it, or something else? Oh, hey, your shift is over, man. Isn't that the same fucking model actually? That's the same model. Your night shift has started. Haha, <laughs> that's that. Oh, okay, man. Wait, that's the same damn model. Wait. Well, let me give you a heads up. This place is far away from any help, so if you come across something, then you're cooked. Oh, okay. All right, that that's already off to. See, that's literally the same model. That's the same fucking model with a must, just with a mustache and different clothing. See if you're alive. <sighs> okay, this is gonna be creepy. Okay. I mean, this doesn't really look. Yeah, this doesn't even look like fucking like PSX style. Like, I, like it. It just kind of doesn't look like that, honestly. You know. Yeah, that's like, of course. Um, I see. That's another thing. That's another thing about you know. Yeah, that's like another. That, yeah, that's like another thing about you know, um, be these kinds of games and stuff like that. You know, they don't usually make make they usually don't make the games look actually like you know PSX styles and stuff like that. You know, they just straight up like take the mod. You know, you know what? Give me hold on a second. You know what? I got an idea. Hold on. So you know, instead of this, actually, we're gonna go. In, we're gonna go into a game like Midnight Intruder. I'm pretty sure that's Xbox Core, right? No? I guess not? Hmm. Alright, um, but anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna find an example, actually. Yeah, you know, I already, I already made this... Hold on, um... Let me, let me find a quick example, alright? You know, I'll just use the, I'll just use the example from, um... You know, from the Power and Imagination of Roblox video and stuff like that, you know? So yeah, here we are in Midnight School. Now, um, yeah, yeah, wait a second. Wait a minute. These, these game passes look familiar. This entire place looks familiar. Hmm, I wonder where this act, where, where this actually, you know, wh where this actually came from, you know? Hmm. Oh, I actually know, because this is really a weird strict teacher, you know? They, yeah, and here's the thing, here's the thing. Weird Trick Teacher is made by Best Tycoon Steel, and if you check, you know, who, like, the owners and stuff like that, it's Ekra and Mehmed Fateh. And if you take a look at, you know, 
Midnight School and stuff, you know. You can see that's made by Midnight's Experience, which is also owned by Ekra and Mamed Fateh. So what they basically just did is that they just straight up took the entire game, you know. They even bothered to, you know, change the graphics at least and stuff like that, you know, to make it PSX style. And, and, and then just straight up, you know, like, made, and just straight up, like, took the, you know, model of, you know, the... The murderer from Midnight Cleaners and stuff like that, you know? And then, boom, they just call it a Midnight Game and stuff, which is probably, like, one of the best examples of super fucking lazy, you know? At least I actually put effort into my videos, especially the Puggy's Piggy Shorts episodes and stuff like that, you know? They probably, like, like made the Midnight School game probably, like, fucking in a fucking hour, maybe. You know, pro at least, you know? They didn't, they didn't even change most of the game. All they did is to add, add a VHS effect... Took the model from, uh, took the model of the murderer from Midnight Cleaners and stuff like that, you know? Like, placed it as the avatar and stuff like that. Didn't even bother to change the actual, you know, teacher's model and stuff like that, you know? And it's literally just a weird trick, it's literally just the same old game and stuff like that, you know? Like, yeah, that's just what pisses me off. Like, games like this and, like, Midnight School are the ones that actually get attention instead of games like fucking Taxi on Alert. What the fuck? Sorry, so, um, yeah, you know what, yeah, let's go back to, yeah, let's go back to the game real quick, let's go back to the game, and basically should sh just look at, a, uh, like a comparison, like two by two comparison and stuff, you know, of the two games and stuff, you know, alright, so, um, hopefully I remember to actually edit this on CapCut, but you can see by the two side, like, the, by the two sides, or like, top and bottom, um, uh, that both of these games are really just the same thing, you know, yes, yeah, see, see, like, they don't, they don't even bother, like, change, like, intro, actually, like, like, it's still, it's still, it still says developed by, you know, Best Tycoon Studios and stuff, you know, like, stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, see, and, yeah, yeah, and see, like, yeah, you see the comparison, right? It's really the same fucking game, but with just, you know, a VHS effect, you know, just, you know, the PSX character and stuff like that, you know. Like, they don't, they don't even change jack shit, honestly, you know? It, like, like, yeah, you could, like, yeah, you can see the comparison, right? Like, there's a good chance that, like, you know, on the other side, on the other side of the screen and stuff like that, you know? Um, there's, there's, like, the, there's, like, the other result of, you know, the, the, the Midnight School game and stuff like that, you know? Like, I honestly don't get, like, why people actually play, uh, honestly, prefer this game over, like, I, I, I know I'm gonna be, I'm, I know I'm gonna act like a, like, sound like a glazer over here, but, like, but, like, the fact that they choose, like, this game, like, they prefer th these games over something like Taxi on Alert, which is, which is, like, actually a good fucking modern Roblox horror game and stuff, you know? You know? And, yeah, like, and it's actually a good example on actually, you know, like, balancing the horror, like, the time, you know, the, you know, the pacing and stuff like that, you know? But, yeah, people just play, you know, knockoffs like these and stuff like that, you know? It just still pisses me off to this day. Okay, um, what the, f what the fuck is this? It, is that the fucking Grinch or something? Okay, but anyways, um, you know what? Yeah, so, 
So, um, yeah, you know, let's actually, instead of, you know, Midnight Barbers, let's actually play something like Midnight Retailer. Midnight, Midnight fucking Retailer, stuff like that, you know? Yeah, mi Midnight Retailer. The one with the fu with the fucking grandpa from Granny as the main enemy, I suppose, you know? Ooh, so spooky. I'm so fucking scared. Okay. Breaking news. This just in. Let me guess. Serial killer? Monster? There's a crazy- What the fuck did I tell- I mean, like, sure, you know, like, taxi on alert, stuff like that, you know? It, it did- it did have, like, you know, the crazy serial killer on the loose and stuff, but it did make a plot twist that we were actually the killer and stuff like that, and actually disguising ourselves as a taxi driver and stuff like that, you know? Which, honestly, I'll let it slide, you know, because it was a good fucking plot twist and stuff, you know? Like, it, pro it probably had some hints here and there and stuff, you know, with, like, the choices of dialogue and stuff like that, you know? You know, but, like, this- like, like, games like these and stuff, you know, it's just the same thing and stuff, you know, just serial killer on the loose and stuff like that, you know, monster on the loose and stuff like that, you know, and there's no, like, bl big t plot twist and stuff, you know, like, just, it's just the same fucking thing, you know, and see, would you, would you look at that, it's, like, look, yeah, see, it's literally the same, yeah, it's just the same fucking model, finally, what took you so long, I've been waiting for hours, alright, damn, chill out, you must be the new employee, did you hear the news? Uh, yes. I fucking did. I heard it well, a thousand times. Oh. I feel bad for you, but I'm sure it's- but it's nothing. Of course, you say it's fucking nothing. I'm sure I'll be fine. So what do I need to do? This job is easy. You have nothing to worry about. Well, you can at least fucking tell me what to do, at least. Just follow the rules. They are over there on the wall. I'm just glad that I could finally leave. I've been worried all night about this killer. Yeah, see, like, this doesn't even look like, you know, PSX styles and stuff like that, you know? Like, yeah, and of course, it has the same story of the serial killer and stuff like that, you know? We are not responsible in case you die. <clears throat> Disney! <clears throat> um... Great, now that you've read the rules, um, you're ready to start. Go to the back and clock in to start your shift. Alright, so, yeah, you can see that, like, this game doesn't even look like PSX styles, you know? You know, it doesn't look like low quality, like low graphics, you know? Like, yeah, look at this. So, yeah, look at this game. Like, let's look at, let's take a comparison, you know? So, let's, 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 look, around, let's look around this game and stuff like that, you know? Like, all, the, all it has is just a PSX, you know, low-quality styles, like, models and stuff like that, you know? Like, this game just looks like fucking high-quality and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, so yeah. Take a look at this, and now look at this game, you know? Yeah, see, like, look at this. Yeah, th this is Midnight Market, you know? The, you know, made by Gorilla Games and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, so if we go in here... Yeah, you could see that this actually... Yeah, you could see that this actually, you know, kind, you know, kind of looks like an actual, you know, like PSX style game and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, we kind of, yeah, we kind of have like the lo like the low quality food and shit like that, you know. Like this, this actually, this actually looks like, you know, a PSX PSX style game and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, see, yeah. And I also want to mention about, you know, Midnight Massacre and stuff like that, you know? Like, another... Yeah, kind of like an Easter kind of related Midnight game and stuff like that. What I actually loved about that game and stuff, you know? It actually did something different with its formula and stuff like that, you know? Like, it's... Yeah, what yeah what I did like is that they did something different with their formula and stuff like that, you know? It's not the typical, you know, doing your objectives and stuff like that and running away from the monster and stuff like that, you know? Um... The, you know, like you actually had to, you actually had to, like you know, run around, run around, run around the map and stuff. You know, find keys, unlock stuff, while trying to run away from the bunny, bunny later on and stuff like that, which I wasn't even able to beat and stuff like that. You know, because it wasn't working on Xbox and stuff like that, and it's most likely it's still not to this day. You know. Oh, but yeah, that's probably one of my favorite midnight games out there and stuff like that. You know, because because it does do, it does something different with their formula to actually make it like kind of like a great, you know, kind of like playthrough and stuff like that. You know. And that's when, you know, when the Midnight game, Midnight knockoffs actually started coming in and stuff, you know. Ever since the Midnight games actually started coming in and stuff like that, you know. Gorilla Games announced that they were going to quit making Midnight games because of the overpopulation of the games and stuff like that, you know. 
and they were going to make something completely different and stuff like that, you know? And, yeah, it is sad to see, you know? Because of the fucking knockoffs, you know? Like, yeah, that just straight up pisses me off, I swear to God. Uh, uh, yeah, see, there it is, Midnight Massacre. So, yeah, you know what? Yeah, so, now, let's go and... Yeah, you know, we'll just... Yeah, so, let's just, um... Skip ahead to um, the summer experience, you know? Because I feel like that could be, like, kind of a, like... I, I feel like that could be, like, a kind of an okay, you know, story, maybe, you know, something like that, you know? At least involving something else instead of, like, serial killers and stuff like that, you know, or something like that, you know? Um, it may still have the, you know, oh, I'm pretty sure it's nothing, you know? Like, shit like that, you know? Um, oh, what joke is that? They even made things like fucking Midnight Food Truck. Oh, and Game Store Experience, huh? Yeah. It's fucking AI backgrounds, huh? Alright, uh, let's just join this, I guess. Um... Yeah, let's do this, I guess. So, um, yeah. Here we are. Um. Yeah, so here we are at, in the summer experience. Storage, deploy, the po, the po, the depot, what, whatever. Alright, yeah, we're in, oh. Welcome to your first night shift at the beach. Why would there be night shifts at beaches? Whatever. Your job is to take care of customers and the, and the beach. Okay. Good luck. I only see my arms in the cutscene. Oh, but now I'm in first person. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, people are still here, I guess, you know. Alright. It's time to start the shift. Let me guess. We're going to have to do some objecti objectives. Oh, what you got? Cool in the show. Let's open the shop. Okie dokie. Open the shop. All right, nice. Oh, and of, wash your hands. Okay, and of course we got like you know the items that we're just gonna give like to the people and stuff like that. You know, it's like there it always has there. There's always like you know that part of the game. You know. Oh, oh look. Oh hey, Ed the Demon Slayer. Yay! It's 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 my friend. Okay. Did you just fucking eat the... You just ate the bottle. All right, uh, I, I'm probably not... Yeah, no wonder he's not answering my calls now, you know. Probably eating bottles and shit. I don't know. Um, anyways. All right. Do you guys just... Okay, no, you actually come, come out from somewhere. All right, it's bacon here. Hello. All right, uh, here you go. I don't want the fucking game pass. All right, pick up money. Okay. Coming out of fucking nowhere. Oh yeah, that's like Funhouse Casey from the Funhouse family. Hey. What the? <laughs> Yay! All right. Is that it? Can I be done now? Can I go home? No, but I still have to do this shit. Great. Yippee, it's like I, yeah, I, I always want to be here. Chill soda. I want the fucking chill soda. Give me the chill, give me the chill soda! Alright, um, take your fuzzy so oh, okay. Where do you fucking go? Hold on. Where do you go? I want to know where the fuck you even go. You go to Storage Depot or something? Okay, you just fade out of existence. Alright then. Got another customer, baby. I'm just extremely tired for this. Yeah, I, I also already said this before with these experience horror games and stuff like that, you know. Usually I have a problem with its story and stuff like that, you know. Um, yeah, usually I have a problem with, like, its story, you know. Um, like, you know, because it's always, like, serial killer on the... Okay, and of course it has that creepy music. What was that? Maybe nothing important. Up, oh, of course. We always say, like, it's either a dream or a hallucination shit like that, you know? 
Yeah, usually, usually I have the problem with, like, experienced horror games and stuff, you know? Okay, whatever. It's time to close the shop, so... Yeah, usually I have a problem with these experienced horror games and stuff like that because of its story, you know? Because it's always it, serial kill on the loose and stuff, you know? Like, monsters are on the loose, you know? But some of these games and stuff, like, especially show movie studios and stuff like that, actually have different kinds of stories to their games and stuff like that, you know? Um, and if you at least, and if you at least actually want to tell a story, you know, if you at least have a story to actually tell, you know, like a complete different story and stuff like that, you know, um, then I'll probably like it, honestly, you know. I probably still won't like the gameplay or anything like that, you know. I probably still won't like the jump scares, you know, because they're just cheap knockoffs and stuff like that, you know. But I will, I, I, I will appreciate your game, you know, if you actually have a good story to tell, you know, instead of a serial kill or something like that, you know. Yeah, that's why games like, you know, the airplane experience or like, you know... The ship experience, or or even the stranded experience and stuff like that, like something like that, you know, or probably one of my favorites and stuff like that, you know. But then most of them are just completely shitty and stuff like that. So yeah. And yeah, speaking of the gameplay, um, yeah, things like this, this, like if you're playing alone, if you're playing alone, especially and stuff like that, you know. This is gonna take you a fucking while, honestly, you know. Like, like these developers always like do do this thing where like he like it they make you stay in the game for as long as long like for like for so long and stuff like that, you know, for the premium payout, which is basically like you know, um, like yeah, which is basically where like the more you stay in a Roblox developer's game, the more bobuck they'll basically get from it or like money, whatever, you know. So, yeah, yeah, that's what they basically do and stuff like that, you know. They make the game very long and stuff, like have very long gameplay and stuff, especially since you're, if, especially if you're playing solo and stuff like that, you know, so that you can stay in the game for long enough to honestly give them, you know, lots of, lots of moolah, you know. Very shady, very shady shit, you know. Let's see, it's already been like two minutes because of this, I suppose. Looks much better now. What now? Brother Shra- Oh, let me guess. And yeah, this is another problem with experienced horror games. Every single fucking time you take trash out, you get jump scared by a fucking monster. You know? There's a good chance that's gonna fucking happen to me. I just know it. There, he's gonna appear right there. Appear right there. Somewhere around here, I just fucking know it. You know? Or just like, we spot him looking at us, you know? It's time to start the ship. Yeah, that happens most of the time, but it didn't happen this time. They probably knew. They probably fucking knew. Yeah. Oh, what do you look at that? There's only there's still only one person or two people, I guess, you know. I honestly never like like drove past a beach and stuff, you know, and like, you know. I honestly never drove past a beach and like see anyone like actually there most of the time. Or I just didn't look and it was on my phone, I don't know. But yeah, I am extremely tired. It's my birthday. Yeah, yeah, just get the fuck out of my store. I swear we don't sell drugs here. Greeting, greeting, officer. How may I help? I'm investigating reports of missing individuals. Do you happen to have any? Any knowledge related to this case? Not me, sir. I didn't see anything strange around here. I appreciate your cooperation, kiddo. If if you if we need more questions later, we'll let you know. Uh, okay. She looked way older than 12. Oh, that course. Hey. Someone sent you a package, but I couldn't bring it here because we already attempted to deliver it once. Oh, how do I get it then?
You gotta go to storage um, depot. The package is waiting for you there. Thanks, I guess. gotta get the package before we close all right well where the fuck do I get the package exactly oh, so, so we're just not gonna get the package uh, okay then I guess we're not getting the pack oh never mind um oh god it's you again oh god uh yeah, get, 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 get my store. No more customers are coming. It's time to grab the package. Okay, wait, seriously, where the fuck is the package? <laughs> well, would you look at that? That's so fucking convenient. It's on. It's behind the. It's behind the goddamn. Like area. Wait, that's. A, oh no, it's actually inside of the storage depot. So we're just allowed to go in there, I guess. All right then. Okay. I don't know how the fuck I got scared by lights, but all right. Let's take the package to the store. These take such a fucking while. That's why I don't play them anymore. We are going to open the package on the next shift. It's like a fucking mystery box. Huh. Someone ordered me cockroaches, huh? Alright then. Well, yeah, now I definitely have to wash my fucking hands. Oh, uh, why would you look at that? It is all the way out here. You have to be all the way out there. Like, you couldn't... Like, it couldn't be just literally right there, maybe? You know, like... No, it has to be all the way out here. All the way out here. Like, why does that specifically be all the way out here? I generally don't fucking understand. Let me guess, we got to run back, huh? They teleported us, so we're gonna have to run back, huh? Run to the shop! Oh, wow! A fucking cockroach! Okay, that's new, I guess. I mean, I thought we were gonna, like, experience sharks or some shit like that, but no, it's cockroaches. That's a strange story, but at least it's no serial killer, so at least I'm all good. I guess we either run or hide. Which I'm obviously gonna fucking run. Oh god, what the f mm. I thought that was it. What? Ow. How did I get scared by a midget? Who shit that? Who shit that? Hey, you're on your fucking own. Hey, you're on your fucking own, buddy. Hey, you can't go on land, you dumb bitch. Holy shit, you can go on land. Oh, God. Ah! What the fuck? Ah! Oh, hell no. I can't do shit. Oh, God. Holy shit. Oh, hell no. Oh, God, I gotta get... No. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. 
Get me the fuck out of here. Fuck this bitch. Fuck that bitch. Jesus Christ, actually. Well, he. I just got him stuck now. Perfecto, I guess. Uh, bye bye. See you later, amigo. Peace out, adios, and goodbye. I'm getting the hell out of here. Bye bye. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, I did not expect that. I did not. I, I did not expect for that to actually take that damn long. It. This video is now, like, almost an hour. That's pretty good. That's very perfect. All right. Now, uh, let's move on to the last game, I guess. So yeah, now we're gonna we're gonna play Cell Guns and Proof the Hood Wrong, which I'm obviously not gonna be the entire fucking game. We already know why. Yeah, join. What the fuck happened to my head? What a beautiful day this is! Nothing can ruin it! Gotta lower down the music. What do we have here? A poor noob! Ha ha ha! You will never run the hood! You dumb n-word, you nitwit! Just you wait, I will become the richest in the hood! With- with my midget head! Um, okay. Um, start your gun factory, alright. Okay. The money in the bank. I'm sorry. Is that disgust? Okay. Um. Here, take a fucking gun. Okay. Kai Sinet. Kai fucking Sinet. Fifteen mil. Yeah. Fuck no, baby. Uh uh. Not doing that today. Uh uh. Yeah, fuck no. I, I, you know, hold on. Yeah, now I think about it. Hold on. Let me, yo, yeah, the shop. Hold on a second. Yeah, look at all these bat. Look at all these game passes. Yeah, Kai Sinet, Phantom, I Show Speed, Top G, Auto Sell, okay, so re Quick Restockers, Time to Speed, Times to Cash, and LeBron, you know? And yeah, let's join another. Hold on a second. Yeah, let's join Prove Dad Wrong by being a criminal, you know? Um, yeah, like. Oh no. I'm sorry, isn't this called proof dad wrong? Not not pay I I'm I mean at least actually at least they're actually trying to tell a story, I guess, you know, so I'll give it that, but maybe not call it proof dad wrong, I guess, you know? Or like may maybe something like pay pay off your dad's pay off your dad's medical bills by being a criminal, you know? That could be good. Wh whatever. See, so, so yeah, like these game, yeah, like Sprint, higher, higher op, Karen, like the rich, the super rich office. Uh, yeah, and see, these are for really fucking expensive. Like, look at this. In total, that could, that's like about like four thousand five hundred bullock, right? You know, like usually, like the badass experience tycoons usually have like up to four to three like game passes and stuff like it. You know, like up to one thousand seven hundred bullock and stuff like that. You know, but this is just like like. It's too much. Too fucking much, you know? Like, even though it's at least trying to tell a story and stuff like that, you know? It's it's still, like... Jesus. Alright, but in but in general, after all of this, um, are the knockoffs really that good? Um, first of all, fuck no. But second of all, it really depends. Yes, I know. So, look. Um, like, if you're... So... 
look. The, usually the problem that I have with these knockoffs is that they always is that they always just take the idea of the popular like game and stuff like that, you know, and then basically you know, and then and then you know just just change some stuff up, you know, and then and then just release it as a new completely new game and stuff, you know, like we have the Midnight games and stuff like that, especially Rare Trick Teacher and Midnight School. They're literally the same fucking game, but the Midnight School it literally just has the VHS effect and stuff like that, you know, like yeah, we already saw it and stuff like that, you know, but the summer experience, however, and stuff like that. You know, I'm sure it still doesn't have kind of a good story, at least, you know, um, but, but it, but it, at least it, like, at least it was something different compared to, like, you know, Serial Kill on the Loose or something like that, you know, or, like, um, you, yeah, yeah, Creature on the Loose hits up, you know, like, like, sharks were actually trying to kill us and stuff like that, you know, like, cockroaches and stuff, you know, at least it had a kind of a different story, which I'll let it slide and stuff like that, you know, and at least, you know, pr Proof Dad wrong by being a criminal actually, you know, was actually, like, trying to tell... Yeah, see? Yeah, see? Yeah, see? Um, yeah, yeah, it was trying to tell a story of, you know, our dad is in the hospital and we need to, like, pay off his um, medical debt and stuff, you know, by becoming a criminal and stuff, you know? I like that idea. I like that story. I like that concept, you know? Just don't call it Proof Dad wrong. What? What's there to prove, huh? What, by paying the bills, huh? Like, what the fuck? You know, like, yeah, especially sell guns to and pr prove the hood wrong and stuff, you know. It's literally just the typical, ha ha, you never do this and stuff like that. And then you prove them wrong and shit like that. Like, I'm sorry. After I'm done, will you forgive me and shit like that, you know? Like, like yeah, at least, like, badass experience tycoons actually have different kinds of stories and stuff like that, you know? Like, make friends in jail tycoon and stuff. Like, oh, well, well would you look at this, you know? Save grandma from an IRS tycoon, you know? At least it's trying to tell a story there, I guess, you know? Um... Yeah, yeah. Become the grand best grandson and save your grandma from the IRS internal Robux um service. Um, uh, after she gets arrested for not paying her taxes. Like, if you're at least if you have if you're at least trying to like tell a like a different story in your like knockoff and stuff like that, you know, then I have no problems with it. But it but it will but the game will still well. I mean, yeah. If you if you still like if you want if you like tell like a completely different story like from like you know the original like that in your knockoff. Then I'll 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 respect you and stuff like that for your game, but your game is still gonna have problems with like you know the gameplay and stuff like that, and for how long it's gonna be and stuff you know. Like I prefer the short horror games and stuff like that you know over like you know the thirty minute horror games and stuff like that you know. Sure it is fun with Ed the Demon Slayer with like a friend and stuff like that you know, but it just takes so fucking long. But yeah, in general, just most of the most of the most of the knockoffs of like you know based off of you know midnight games where strip games and stuff like experience horror games prove mom wrong and stuff like that you know are usually just completely bad honestly because they keep using the same fucking formula that it keeps like yeah like keep get you over and you overusing it and stuff like that you know and it just get it's just it's just like it just it just gets repetitive honestly you know at this point just say at, at this point just say you want you want the money J just fucking say it at this point you you want the damn money so um yeah with that i am basically done and stuff you know once again, if you want to play an actual good Roblox horror game and stuff like that, you know, one that actually had the time put into it and stuff, and it's a pretty short one if you're getting only one ending, then I suggest, like, um, yeah, I, su I suggest playing something like Taxi on Allure and stuff, you know. Once again, like, it has the at it has the atmospheric, um, horror, the si it's single player, PSX style graphics and stuff like that, you know, like, you know, it's, like, everything, like, great about a horror game and stuff like that, you know? And, once again, probably one of the best modern Roblox horror games out there and stuff like that, in my opinion. Pro some of you probably not like probably not like it, but that that's fine and stuff like that, you know? So, yeah. But, yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Puggy Bucks and YT is signing off right now, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And, as always, peace out.